Das ist doch alles scheiße. I can tell you all this kind of crap here, what happens with the car, it's not a battery issue. It's not. It's it's 90% software related. It gets warm in here. This is uh, this is not even working here. This what what we are seeing here is not normal. That is not normal. Look from from this guy in our group who got his battery replaced three or four weeks ago. When he got the car back, they adjusted the reset on the battery, like on my one here, and he lost 0.1 ampere hours every single day afterwards. It looked exactly the same as as last year when they did the year before when they did the reset on my battery exactly the same it went down like this steep as a vertical line and then he complained with Mitsubishi again and they took it back in the workshop and then they did the DB cam and cell smoothing so that now that they, they just they did another reset I think and then the DB cam and the cell smoothing and had the car for another three or four days and since then he got it back and there's no degradation at all anymore. This alone shows that this is a pure software problem and the software is not able to calculate the state of health and state of charge correctly because they don't have changed the battery a second time. It's still the same battery they have replaced in the first instance but the software was just not able to cope with the whole situation. But after all these procedures being done, it seems to be fine. And I don't understand why they are not doing this every time they're replacing a battery now. Why are they not learning from, from their mistakes and do it correctly the next time? I don't... I don't understand this. This is just... This just doesn't make sense to me at all. I've sent another email to Mitsubishi this morning and said, look, this is what I got the car. It has 96%, yeah, that's correct now, 96.1% state of health. Why has it already dropped 4% for a brand new battery? Would you not expect if you get something brand new, it has 100%? I mean, but this what we are seeing right now here, this is total bullshit. The bullshit meter goes out of range. It just... That's alles scheiße. <sighs> well, that's all being said. I've sent this email to Mitsubishi this morning say complaining and said look this is what the car does I get the battery back with 69 oh shit with 96% it's supposed to be brand new but it's not and then after an hour you get an email back from them a standard email saying we have passed your concerns on to our technical team we apologize for all the inconvenience I said what the f Really? Are you f***ing kidding me or what? Seems like in all the communication stuff we are back to square one now. We are not talking openly anymore and you're getting these standard customer response they send out a million times a day maybe or something. I don't know, this is just getting very annoying at the moment. And I don't know, I have told them in the email, I said, look, keep the loan car here at the local dealership because I will bring this one back to the dealership very soon. The battery is not doing what it's supposed to do. It's not 100%. It's not new. The software is not calibrated. Keep the loan car. I'm happy to keep this car for a week or so until we figure something out, until I do more testing. I'm happy to provide you with all the data. No. Nothing. They just said we passed on your concerns to the technical team. What the f***? What the f***? Really? I, I don't want any... I'm, I'm not expecting any special treatment just because I've got the camera with me. I'm doing a review of your customer service here Mitsubishi and it's, it's 0 out of 10 at the moment. 0 out of 10. And it can only get better but it, it gets worse all the time. It, 
it's just what are you doing are you not are you not listening to your customers are you not reading the emails they sent you are you not if you have learned from one car why not apply this learned and positive feedback to another car with the same problem i don't get this i don't get this at all ah guys I, i didn't tell you in the in the lone car the um, headrest of the driver's seat was rattling a slight quality issue no big deal but it had only 700 kilometers on the clock but it was already rattling it is so annoying when your headrest is rattling okay guys i don't know what else to say <laughs> well that is total bullshit really that is super total bullshit okay guys so um after my lunch break now i will plug in the car at the club here we'll fully charge it because we are at um 86% state of charge i want it on 100 before i do my 50 kilometer drive this afternoon and i do a little bit of testing it will not be a full 60 kilometer drive review so i'm driving normally at normal speeds but i'm expecting at least over 40 kilometers of this battery and if we don't get this i mean even if we did get this i want this um 96 percent fixed and then we do some charging tests tonight starting tonight and see what the battery actually takes well and i keep sending emails to mitsubishi so they can send me their standard responses and keep bullshitting their customers that's how i feel okay so far this update from today from the very successful pickup of the outlander phgv from the dealership again and i'm winching a lot but this is just not correct this is not how it's supposed to work from a customer perspective definitely not at least they have washed the car so i'm not sure i'll keep you updated i'll um yeah anyway anyway so um thanks for all your for thanks for watching thanks for staying with me today um it's good to um, if you can you know if you can talk to someone who you trust so it's good and um we will possibly see us tomorrow in the next video then stay charged and goodbye okay see you guys And just to tell you, I'm, I'm not sure if I have mentioned this in any of my videos, actually. I'm not being sponsored by Mitsubishi to say anything positive about the car or their service. Just to make this clear.